Get ready to face my huge army. I have come to attack the Kaaba and- Only the real inheritor of the Kaaba will save it. And that is Allah. Abraha, ruling over Yemen and Ethiopia, constructed a church in Sana'a with the intention of diverting pilgrims away from Makkah and the Kaaba. Expressing his desire for people to perform Hajj in his church rather than at the Kaaba in Makkah, particularly upsetting the Arabs, especially the Quraysh, Abraha faced opposition. A member of the Quraysh, in a fit of rage, defiled Abraha's church in Sana'a by urinating and spreading filth. Infuriated by this act, such courage of these Arabs. Now I tell them what destruction is. Get ready to face my huge army. Abraha vowed to destroy the Kaaba and set out with his army, including a group of elephants led by Mahmud. Upon reaching Makkah, Abraha captured the animals of the inhabitants, including the camels of Abdul Muttalib, the respected grandfather of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Abdul Muttalib, a man of great strength and dignity, approached Abraha to request the return of his camels. I have come to attack the Kaaba and destroy it with my army, and you are worried about your camels. I am not worried about it. Only the real inheritor of the Kaaba will save it, and that is Allah. Abraha, impressed by Abdul Muttalib's conviction, returned the camels. Following this, Abdul Muttalib instructed his people to seek refuge in caves and on mountaintops. He then prayed at the door of the Kaaba, and after completing his supplication, he ascended a mountain. Abraha, planning to attack the Kaaba the next morning, stationed his elephants with Mahmud as the leader. However, Mahmud inexplicably refused to advance toward the Kaaba, moving elsewhere. In a divine intervention, Allah sent birds from the sea, each carrying three small stones, one in the beak and two in their hands. These birds, guided by Allah's will, launched a powerful assault on Abraha's army. The small stones, a divine punishment, shattered the armor of the soldiers, pierced their heads, cut their bodies, and brought down the mighty elephant. The names of the individuals struck by these stones were inscribed on them. This extraordinary event led to the destruction of Abraha's army, and the Kaaba remained unharmed, and Allah, the real owner of the Kaaba, protected his house in such a way that this event is still described in the Quran and remembered in history with wonderful words.